Let everyone go. Hey everybody, Laura Sanko here, and I am joined by, you're good. This is your show, man. You can keep this talking if you want. <laughs> I am joined by Dustin Poirier. Uh, Dustin, I want to cut right to the chase. Let's go. Nate Diaz has been talking about you a lot, sir. You've been talking back a little bit, but last night, I believe, he, saw, he called out again. He, he wants to fight you, but then he added he wants that to be his last fight. Thoughts on that? I, I would have never thought I'd hear that coming from that guy. You know, that guy's got so much fight in him and been fighting forever. Um, I don't even know if he really believes that, but uh, that's the fight I want. Yeah. yeah. What can you tell us about the status of that fight and, and how close is it to getting done? I think I it's... I just saw you smile. I saw you smile. You're like, oh. I think it's close. I think it's going to happen. We got to sit down with the UFC and see like a time frame. I, th I think the summer makes sense. Um, but I'm in. Let's do it. I, I want the fight. I, Ass assuming I don't have to cut a lot of weight. Fight at 170. Feel good. It's a it's a stylistic matchup that I think the fans are going to love. It's going to be a fight of the year type of fight, and that's what that's the kind of fight. And it means something to me. Yeah. I grew up watching Nate. I respect his fight game, his brother's fight game, and uh, I want that. What do you like about the uh, besides the obvious? What do you like about going to 170, or is it more about the opponent? I can cut 10 pounds and be happy. <laughs> yeah. And also the opponent. I've been, like I said, I grew up watching Nate fight. I think our styles is, is going to be an incredible matchup. Um, those are the kind of fights that I really want to be part of. Exciting fights for the fans. And I just know it's going to be nasty. If it does end up being his last fight, and that's part of the lead up to that, I mean, does that, how does that make you feel? I don't know. Let me, yeah. If it's announced and it's, it's really his last fight, we'll see. Um, I haven't really processed it that much yet because it's, it's not real yet um we'll see if it is his last fight I, you know i'd love to be a part of the history yeah it would be an honor for sure yeah, absolutely it'd be my honor yeah yeah let's talk about tonight we'll bring it to tonight a uh, fantastic main event israel adesanya and robert whitaker fighting again uh obviously the way the first fight went the person that needs to make more adjustments this time would be robert whitaker if you were in robert whitaker's corner i know you you got you got some coaching genes in you you've got some anal analyst genes in you if you were cornering robert whitaker what would your advice to him be in this fight shit um you got to switch it up. You got to keep Israel guessing. You got to box. You got to kickbox. Go high. Go low. Attack the legs. Wrestle a little bit. Um, be a mixed martial artist. Don't go out there and kickbox with Izzy. Make him uncomfortable. Put him against the fence. Try to rough him up. Use your full game. You know, um, I'm a fan of both guys, both champions. I I'm excited to see what happens. Dustin, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I just saw some teammates walk past. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I want to let you go watch some fights, man. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it always. Thank Thanks, you. Dustin. You guys, keep it locked in right here. More quick hits presented by Jose Cuervo Tequila coming your way.